Hello dear friends, this one we will take a look, take a look at some of the books I got from China and you will find it on the link under the description of this video if you are interested. This book is uh, a repeat buying. Usually I always try to buy books that uh, that are different from previous purchase, but this one is really, it is um, in such a simple and uh, accurate and approachable way to explain the subject matter, which is uh, Lotus Flower. And uh, I think this book has done an excellent job. There is no English in this book. I bought it in China and uh, these, uh, these books are for the Chinese people learning Chinese painting. So it is purely in Chinese for the Chinese people. But because these books, they are pictures, tells the whole story. So you do not necessarily need it to be in, in another language. You can, you, can, you can look at it. Seeing is believing. So these are the black and white outline. Here is uh, the step-by-step -step method. One, two, three, four and the color become richer and richer and richer and finally come to this result. And uh, this artist, his style is he or her, let me see. Jiang Donglian, Jiang Donglian Shi, yes. And Shen Yan Hong, Shen Yan Hong, I don't know. She, her style is very, uh, this kind of very romantic, very light, very subtle style. And uh, soft and tender. There is a lot of beauty in it. So there are these uh, uh, demonstrations, step by step dem demonstration. And there is a piece of paper. This is A4 size, and this one is A3 size, or um, two of the letter size. So you can copy it and, uh, and do and trace. Look at all this. Wonderful and very, very easy and approachable and very clearly explains how the color comes to it. If you are interested, click on the link, you will find this book. Thank you very much. I think I will do several videos. Uh, combine them together. Other oh, both of them are ladies. Otherwise, it will take too long time. Mm. I don't. I will make too many videos. Okay. Thank you. Hello, dear friends. Here is another book. Li Xiaoming, Hua He Hua. Li Xiaoming is the the name of the artist. He's a young man, young gentleman, young artist. And uh, his painting style is so, they are all good, they are all beautiful. These are the famous Chinese painting, the ancient antique painting. And this is his illustration. Look at his line. His line is really very smooth, very soft, very tender. There is uh, such a, um, a smoothness tenderness and, uh, and the poetry in his lines. This is why I, I, I bought this book. So on this side is the picture. Oh gosh, 
This one is the picture, if you can see. This one is the picture, and this one is his painting. This is so unbelievable. And this one is a picture. Zoom it in. And this one is the painting, his painting. Picture. This one, let me see, I need to. Picture, picture. Oh, okay, okay. This one is picture, this one is picture, and it's from, from uh, top to bottom. Picture, his way of illustrating, and uh, his final result. And he took liberty, artistic liberty, and changed the color into this pink color, which is so beautiful, whichever way. It's always when the color is is in such a, a subtle, smooth transition, any color can make it pretty. And uh, and uh, there is uh, there is a level, a depth of poetry that cannot be achieved by photography. It can only be expressed through the artist expression, artist's artistic expression. So step by step demo. There is no English in this book. It's only in Chinese. But uh, I do not think that is a problem because the book itself is so, so um, telling. It is so telling. Step by step, step by step. You see it, you do not need to read anything and you understand how to do it. And those colors, there is a particular name, but you can always try and get the right color. And uh, the color combination is always different. Do not uh, follow so much about the color, but follow uh, uh, the final result. So good. Look at his painting. This is a marvelous book. Wonderful, wonderful. It is just splendid. Look at it. Look at it. This step by step method. Starting the idea stage, first layer of color, second layer of color, third layer, third layer, fourth layer, fifth. Of course, he has many, many more layers in between. <gasps> they are just so wonderful. This one is, uh, is uh, in this... Uh, very, very, uh, some are brighter, some are uh, more nuanced, more um, subtle, wonderful book by Li Xiaoming. Okay, we will look at another book now. This is a book. The okay, hello dear friends, here is another book. And this book's name is called Yang Lan. Yang means foreign. Lan is orchid, which means it's uh, it's actually not the Chinese style orchid. It's the orchid which uh, we often see in the Southeast Asia or or in America. There are a lot of orchid from Thailand, from Indonesia, from from a uh, Southeast uh, Asian country or hot weather country, tropical area. So this is by an artist uh, from Philippines. And uh, she studied uh, Chinese painting style. And, uh, and uh, she lived in Philippines, of course. She had a lot of inspiration from the Philippine orchid flower. 
So this one is not exactly the Chinese way of painting, but uh, Chinese way, Chinese kind of orchid. But it is more approachable, and I, I think it's more comfortable for a lot of uh, people who is not Chinese to see it. You 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 feel that uh, um, this looks more like orchid flower. I remember one time I I painted orchid flower in Chinese painting. And then I got a lot of people say, no, that is not orchid flower. Orchid flower should look like this, like this, like this. Anyway, so <clears throat> I got this book and uh, I did one video to show it and uh, it went away immediately, got sold out. And uh, I got other friends who missed the first chance asking if I could uh, find it again. So this time I went to China and uh, I found this book. And um, maybe I I was not lucky enough. This is the only one. This was the only one in that bookstore. So without hesitation I bought it and, and bought only one. And there is no chance I got I can get another one. So her style sometimes is very realistic or very refined, very detailed, and sometimes it's a uh, it's more spontaneous and uh, it's uh, a, a a variety of different styles. So. You can really um, see the flower, see the, the, the method. Put a piece of paper, trace it, you can do that way also. It looks very easy to... Uh, it looks familiar, it looks closer. You will find it more, uh, more comfortable to, to do this kind of, uh, of painting, this style. Okay, so this one is also on the Etsy shop. You will find the link. If you do not find the link, it means it has been sold. It would have been sold already. Mm. And uh, at the time when I am talking, it is uh, on, on the Etsy shop. Okay, thank you very much. Looking at this book, no matter you have it or not, just to look at it is a pleasure. Whoever get it, let's just appreciate the artist has done such a wonderful job. Thank you very much. Now I will take a look at some other some other orchid style painting book. I have another very large, um, very large uh, lotus flower book. This is spontaneous lotus flower. It's so powerful. It's so expressive. Okay, hello dear friends. Here is another book. If we compare with the other books, this book is twice the size. If you can see, can you see it? This is a normal, uh, a normal book, uh, painting book, and this one is really a large book. And my hand, comparing with my hand, my hand is just looks small. <laughs> and uh, it's a couple. Um, they are wonderful artists, and uh, from Zhejiang they have done. Zhejiang has a lot of uh, lotus flower, lotus, and a lot of lotus food, even made into food. So they know about uh, about how to paint lotus. So step by step, very simply, clearly. Uh, ex 
explain the step of flower of the leaf and the step by step coloring so if you take your time and slowly doing it you will be able to step one two three four There are many steps of doing it. This one is not finished and this one is the finished one. Look at it. It is just a pleasure to look at beautiful books. Don't you agree? And here is a really large piece, so large. See, really a very large. You can, you can put a piece of uh, Chinese painting paper, Gongbi painting paper, and trace it. Use brush or use, uh, or use uh, pencil to trace, and then use brush to go over it. Such an elegant style. Gongbi is a very, and some other uh, painting base. The, it's kind of like a coloring paint. You can start from there and use your own color. Isn't it marvelous? You will find this book on the on the Yiqi shop also. Thank you. Okay, hello dear friends. Here is another lotus flower, and uh, all these books are about uh, are about uh, Gongbi style. The very the very careful, realistic, or very pretty style, very detailed style, very hard-worked style. And uh, this one is a little bit different because uh, a little bit different because it's a combination of the two styles. So here is the flower and uh, the expressive way, the spontaneous way of doing it. And this one is uh, looking at the picture and uh, do an outline drawing. So it's not so, um, so precise. It's not so free. It's kind of uh, in between. And xiao uh, xie yi, between um, between spontaneous and Gongbi style, it's, uh, it it seems more approachable and more easy for for us to to accept. You do not have to be exactly exact, or you do not have to be very. Uh, aggressive, expressive, you can be kind of in between, in the middle. There are some samples of, uh, of this freed gongbi, and there are some samples of this, um, this uh, hard-worked, spontaneous style. It's, uh, Very free. I like it. It's not very free. It's it's between. It's in between, and uh, it opens up uh, a new dimension, a new door for us to see things in different way. 
okay if you are interested you can find you can find it thank you very much find it on the on the on the link this one is uh, spontaneous loading and this one is uh, a very large uh, plum blossom wow look at the tree I always love these It's so, it is so um, elegant, elegant, so simple and so spiritually rich. This one is bamboo. The ancient bamboo, bamboo in snow, step by step. Different style of bamboo, bamboo in red. So these are the bamboo leaves, method of bamboo leaves. Sorry, and this one is orchid flower, the Chinese style orchid flower. And uh, combination with others to make it more interesting. Look at this orchid. The orchid leaves, how to make it free and uh, flow. So these are the books. If you are interested, check it out. Bye-bye.